Okay, this is uh, the APS Model GFB cold flow reflow uh, machine. And uh, the way it operates is you would load your uh, piece of, that you want to work on in here. Turn on here. When it comes up, it shows you um, the profile uh, as a start. And you have uh, options. I'll go through them later. And uh, how to get to uh, profiles and work methods. Um, all your interaction is done through this keypad here. And this, this, is an, this is not an indicator, it's just a graph. Um, and the other thing to point out here, this is your light. When this tray moves and is out of position, this light will light um, to show you that whether or not it's in the correct position. And then over here we have uh, cooling fans. And they operate these two squirrel cage fans uh, so that as the piece comes out, they get uh, cooled down. In the rear here, uh, some applications require a nitrogen uh, fill into the chamber, and uh, you would have that here. Uh, I have that hooked up to the air here as a demonstration, and turn that on. The, uh, it comes in to the chamber, regulated here uh, by the flow controller, depending on what flow you want depending upon your application. I've got this set at the uh, high end, which is 260 degrees. Place your piece on there, and all you do is pull it, transform across. At that point, it will go through a Depending on what you've programmed in, it'll go through a period. Right now it's going through a 20 second period, which is TA, and where it's cooling down. Once it reaches that, it'll beep and start the secondary countdown, which is TV. And at this point, it's heating back up. And you can see the temperature uh, rise. These settings I've set to uh, short settings so that you can get a quick idea of how it operates. They would be, have to be edited depending upon your application. It does store, this is a profile, and it does store different profiles. And over here it shows number one, uh, so we're in number one profile. Um, when it's completed, now it's see time B here is 130 seconds. And once we get through that, we'll wait until that finishes. And it's completed the cycle, and the work uh, word is flashing to indicate that the cycle has completed at this time. You could start another piece. Just to show you, if I push the drawback slightly, that light comes on to show that the tray is not in the proper position. From anywhere, you can hit the Enter key, and it goes back to the main screen, and it shows you what mode you're in. There's work. Tune, setup, and profile. Profile and work are the ones you're probably going to be dealing with most. If I hit enter at profile, I can then see it's flashing number one, and by using the up and down keys, I can scroll through different profiles that have been entered. 
when you pick one, you said, oh, okay, I'll take this one. You hit enter. It goes back to the main screen. Hit the down arrow key to work. Hit the enter key again. And at this point, it'll get ready to start that profile. And then your cycle resumes however you want to do it. And you can set in, uh, whatever profiles uh, that you want. Uh, this operates 200 and volt, 8 volts, single phase, and should be trouble free.